I'm Allie, and this is Wisdom for Living. Three minutes of your week, wisdom for a lifetime. What I want to talk about this week is the crisis in Beit Shemesh. We're all very upset about it. The intolerance, the bigotry. What is the root cause of this hatred, and how can we as Jewish people grow from this crisis? I believe that the root cause is lack of empathy. So you might ask the question, that's the big deal? Lack of empathy? Lack of empathy is a very, very big deal. It's the inability to see another human being or another group of human beings, whether it be a whole category of people or your sister-in-law, as fully human, with a real life, with real feelings. Anytime we dismiss a person, we neglect their reality, we scoff at them, we make a joke about them, we tell the same story about them over and over and over again, we are alienated from them. We see them more as a character than a real person. We don't have empathy toward them. Now, it's easy to be empathetic towards somebody when they're cute and sweet and fabulous and you can't get enough of them. It's hard to be empathetic when someone annoys you, when someone's hurt you in some way, or when you strongly disagree with somebody. How can we see people more through the lens of compassion and connection rather than detachment and alienation? Our sages in the Torah point to an incredible tool that I still use today and I want to tell you about in terms of developing and fostering a sense of empathy toward other people. They tell us that the heart follows the eyes. If you want to become a more empathetic person, visualize in detail the life of another person. Imagine what their life is lo looks like. Put yourself in their shoes. I had a client who was estranged from her mother for over 15 years, but it still hurt her like a thorn in her side. It wasn't easy for her to do, but we sat down and we did a visualization of her mother's life. Her mother was divorced, and this was her only child. And we imagined waking up in the morning with nobody next to you, going to sleep at night with no one next to you, dealing with your doctor and all the insurance claims alone, feeling afraid. The more my client was able to visualize the life of her mother, the more she felt her reality and the more she sensed that her mother was a real person. It wasn't easy, but at the end she said to me, Allie, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I want you to know something. This is the first time in 15 years that I've ever thought of my mother as a real person with a real life. That's what it means to be empathetic. Whether it's someone's pain or someone's joy. If you're anything like me, you get a wedding invitation, you stick it in your drunk drawer. That's not empathy. Empathy means there's someone who's so excited that their daughter is finally getting married. There's someone who's doing all the shopping and can't wait and loves getting all the return envelopes and is so happy to hear from people. That's empathy. When a crisis like Beit Shemesh befalls the Jewish people, it's not enough to, be shr to shrug and be complacent and go, ugh. You have to look internally. And the internal work that the Jewish people need to do now is increase empathy. Don't pass this experience up. Mm -hmm.